The goal for the Eagles just can't be to fill holes and fill players' paws. It's got to be to build a contender for next year and many years to come, and this is how they do it. Here, hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. Man, you know, the Eagles have everything right in front of them because this team is not that far away from going back to the Super Bowl. I truly believe it. But it's going to take kind of a different approach than they've had in past years to get the right team on the field, not just for next year, but for years to come. And that's what we want. We want to build a team that is going to win, not just next year, but years to come down the road. Now, before we get into all of it, I just got to say this. I'm still thinking about that Jason Kelsey uh, press conference. I've literally watched it two, three times. Uh, it, it was it was the craziest press conference I ever remember. Uh, I mean, it, it was it was purely 100% Jason Kelsey, but I, I just I just can't believe he's retiring, man. Uh, it, it's a big loss. I, there's there's no doubt about it, and and I didn't want. I hope I didn't minimize it. Uh, earlier when I was like, oh well, Camp Jurgens will just come in and he'll do a great job. I, I I'm not saying it. It's going to take a lot to replace Jason Kelsey. It is, but I do think Cam Jurgens. I think he's got a lot of talent, and there was a reason why Jason Kelsey helped the Eagles to draft him, and really, he was his choice. There's a reason for it, so I think the Eagles, at the end of the day, think they'll be okay. I, I, I really do, but, uh, you know, the question is, is what is this team going to do uh, in the draft, um, and in free agency for that matter. Right now, uh, before we sign any free agents, and just purely on what I saw out of the combine, um, to be honest with you, when I look at, at you know the draft coming up, you look at the defensive ends, you look at some of these other positions, um, a lot of these players are going to be taken well before the Eagles go. I think they're talking three, four defensive ends, edge rushers, gone by the time the Eagles even pick. I really think that the Eagles are set up perfectly. Maybe you got to trade up a couple spots, you know, maybe get up to like 17, 18, somewhere, uh, and take a corner. Right now, if, if you said to me, what position should the Eagles take? I think they should take a corner. I think they should try to trade up. And you get this Quinion Mitchell. This kid is a stud. I like him a lot. I think he's going to be good. I think the kid um, from Alabama, both of them, Arnold, Kool-Aid, uh, I think both those guys are guys that you could go out and get. But right now, when I look at it, um, I, I see cornerback as possibly being a situation where you can get possibly the best corner one two corner in the draft as where if you let's say you go edge rusher which you know i'm sure the eagles want to go there but if you go edge rusher you're talking about maybe the fourth fifth best uh pass rusher i i don't know if you want to do that so right now before free agency starts i i say you got to go you got to go corner now that can change obviously because you know if they go out and get legerious sneed or something like that things change but right now as i see it you got to go you got to go cornerback, in my opinion, um, in the first round. Uh, and the important thing is this. You've got to build a team, not just to win next year, because time is ticking with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, but you you want to win for years and years to come. And this is how I think you do it. All right, so I want to get into some other Eagles news real quick uh, today. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this. But um, it looks like DeAndre Swift is going to hit the free agency market. Uh, JPA Football wrote this, Rumors, Pound Eagles running back DeAndre Swift is expected to hit free agency and will have interest from several teams per at Bird Country. It's possible he does not remain in Philly. Now, I think this would be a... I think this would be a mistake by the Eagles, okay? I think this would be a mistake because you need a running game. Unless you're willing to go out and get Saquon Barkley or Josh Jacobs or somebody like that, I don't I don't like the idea of letting DeAndre Swift go. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, 500, we don't need a running back. We don't need to do 
to go out and get a really good running back. And I'm going to say, I beg to differ, sir, just like Johnny Ringo said, or just like Doc Holliday Holiday said to Johnny Ringo. I beg to differ, sir. We started a game we didn't get to finish. Playful blood, remember? Now, what the hell am I talking about? Well, listen, here's how I see this. Here's how I see this whole offseason, right? This is just my opinion. I, I, I brought this up, uh, and, I, and I talked about this on the shakedown. But here's how I see things with the Eagles, right? Uh, the the post, post-combine, um, free agency get ready to start. What's the plan for the Eagles? How is this team going to try to compete next year for a Super Bowl while adding young talent and letting it play? You see, I am sick and tired. I mean, sick and tired of these one-year deals where we get a guy on a one-year deal here, guy here. We get like three, four guys on one-year deals. They come in, they contribute, and then they leave. And then we, we have the same holes that we had a few years ago. I don't need that anymore. What I need the Eagles to do is change their philosophy. Now, I talked about this the other night, and I said, this is what I would have done last year. This was kind of my strategy, but it got ruined when they, they re-signed Slay and Bradbury. What I would do as the Eagles is I would look at this roster, and I'll say to myself, where am where's my strengths where's my weaknesses we all know the holes that they have on this team we all know they need safeties linebackers they need another pass rusher offensive line depth they're going to need running backs they're going to need a third wide receiver okay we know it but where are my strengths offensive line i believe your wide receivers your tight end okay your offense is your strength it is your strength and to me the way to get back to competing for a Super Bowl next year, as well as get younger and retool, especially on the defensive side of the ball. It's simple. This is what you have to do. You have to go out and spend money in free agency on offense. Now you're saying, this is crazy. What? What are you talking about? Not all your money. I'm not saying everything designate, but here's what I would do. I have Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. Uh, as I said the other day, I have those two guys, but for how long do I have them? Maybe, maybe two years at most. And this isn't a, oh, A.J. Brown's a prompt thing. I love A.J. Brown, one of the best Eagle receivers. This is just business. This is just about the strato, the money, all right? You're going to have to pay Devontae Smith uh, a contract extension. At some point, it's going to be probably around 20, maybe over $20 million. You're already paying A.J. Brown that. They're not going to pay two wide receivers that kind of money. So uh, while you have A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith on this team at the same time, which is very special, you got to take advantage of it. you got to go out and try to win, okay? But you've got to do it smart. So what I would do, and, and I hate that report about DeAndre Swift, because what I would do, is I would go out and sign DeAndre Swift and Derrick Henry. I would go spend money, and yeah, you, yeah, it's running backs, and I know people don't like paying running backs, but those running backs on this team together as a complementary force would be unstoppable behind this offensive line because we still have a good offensive line, and this and these receivers and tight end and quarterback. I don't think I don't think many teams could stop them. All right, and I would go out, and if I if I were the Eagles, I would do that where I'd bring in Saquon Barkley or Josh like I would get my running game where it is going to be devastating all right now you add that running game to the offense you have um you can't stop them on offense and then what I would do is I would also sign a linebacker and a safety so maybe you get Van Ginkle and then CJ Gardner Johnson all right, so my free agency consists of, let's say, Swift, Henry, Van Ginkle, and C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Just as examples, okay? Just as examples. Now, you can add pieces here or there. The Eagles are going to have enough money. Now, in the draft, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go heavy defense early. So, let's say first round uh, of the draft. I'm taking... I'm taking one of those cornerbacks, okay? There, there's like two or three good corners I'm taking, all right? I'm taking a corner at 22, and I'm dropping him in as a starter. I'm removing Bradbury, and I'm putting him in as a starter. Now, he's going to start opposite Slay. Eventually, Slay goes, Ringo goes in there for him. But I have a young corner uh, starting for my defense. I'm also, and in the second round, 
then I'm going to draft a wide receiver. A very good wide receiver that can play inside and play outside. Somebody to groom over the next few years so when A.J. Brown goes, he slides right outside. Now I'm set at wide receiver long term. And I got better at my wide receiver three position next year. That's what I'm going to do. Then, um, and then I'm going to, in the draft, I'll have another second round pick. I'm taking a linebacker. I might take two linebackers in this draft, okay? And I'm going to put one of them in, and hopefully they'll play. Maybe the Kobe Dean will play. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to strengthen my offense, uh, probably in free agency, except for drafting a wide receiver early. And then I'm going to get young defensive players, like corner, at linebacker, and I'm going to play them. No more one-year deals. Now, what will happen is those young rookies, especially on defense, because I'm thinking – Two, three starters on defense um, that are possibly rookies, okay? They're going to take time. They're going to learn. They're going to have to play. They're going to make their mistakes. But by the end of the year, they're going to be very, very good. They're going to be really, really good. Uh, and then the defense at the end of the year will hopefully catch up somewhat with the offense. But in the meantime, I am going to let my <laughs> – I am going to let my my – um, my offense carry my defense. Somebody keeps texting me in there. And that's what I'm going to do. And I think that's the best way to approach this season. But in order to do that, you're going to have to kind of think outside the box. They're going to have to do things differently. If you just sign like a safety and you give one, you know, big money to, let's say, I don't know, a pass rusher and a linebacker, and you kind of ignore your offense, where's your running game at? Um, who are you going to go get? Uh, Austin Eckler? I say make your offense even better. Strengthen your strength. And I said this last year too, but they didn't do it. Strengthen your strength and then get young guys on the other side of the ball. Let them play and learn. And that's kind of how I would approach this all season if I was the Eagles. Uh, so, I mean, we'll see. I, I have no idea what they're thinking, what they're planning. But if it was up to me, that's exactly what I would do. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's Howie Vision, baby. We're all just living in it. We, gotta go for it. we have to go for it either way. Even if we don't. Yeah, we have to get. A, yeah, you have to get a touchdown. Wow! What a choke. So you got two plays. Wow! Wow! Picked it off. Dak Prescott's a choke I again. I fucking told y'all, bro. They've been packing it in there on second and third down the whole time. He choked. Dak Prescott. It's Mike, bro. I don't even blame yeah. Dak on that. He I don't blame Dak. Dak. The guy don't, don't blame Dak. Dak. He said he don't blame Dak on that. You see that? You see that? So it was Kicks, Cooks was coming across They're the back. They're blaming Cooks. They're, line. They're not blaming Dak. Dak threw the ball. What do they mean they don't blame Dak? So. They don't even blame Dak. They're pathetic.